back to Meet the Candidates. Your host tonight is Sharima Bauer, and my guest this evening is City Ward Councilwoman Jackie Poplar of the Second Ward of Flint, and Jackie Poplar is running for re-election for City Council. Thank you so much for being with us tonight, Ms. Poplar. Thank you so much. I appreciate you just asking me to be here. Oh, it's such an honor. Thank you. It is. Well, it's an honor to be with you this evening. It's thank an honor. You. And so, Ms. Poplar, why don't we get started? What would you tell us of the length of time that you have been in Flint, that you've been a resident here? Oh, my. <laughs> <laughs> that long, huh? <laughs> oh, wow. Can we just say, let's just pick out a number. Let's say 40 plus and add some to it. <laughs> Fair enough. I grew up in Flint. Okay. I'm a, a old St. John Street resident. Oh. That's awesome. And what is your present occupation at this time? My present occupation, I'm retired, have been retired from mm -hmm. uh, working in retailing for a number of years. Yes. And um, I'm city council, yeah. servant to the second ward. Yes. Yeah, yeah. And that's awesome. And so why is it that you wish to run again? I believe I have unfinished business. Okay. Um, okay. When I took this position, it was a calling from the Lord, trust mm. me. I knew mm. nothing about politics. Okay. But uh, God knew my heart, mm. and I love serving people, and I just love doing for people. It, it's, a, it's just something that makes me feel good. And so mm. in what I do, and, and I told uh, the Flynn Journal when I first got elected that I'm your different kind of politician. I honestly care about people. Yeah. And everything that I have done that was within my power mm. has been for the people of my community, not just citizens in the second ward, but I've reached out to the total city. Yes. And what are some ways that you've reached out to the city? What are... Well, I've had, I have really been one of the only council people that I have served with within the last 12 years that has held an annual Christmas party. Oh, okay. And uh, mm -hmm. it started out for the second ward, but mm -hmm. now uh, we have people from all over come. And just, um, it's a Christmas party where you just have fun, you eat until there's no more, and yeah. the children love it. We now have uh, music, we have Santa Claus, uh, I gave away turkeys to families, and it was just heartwarming every year to see yeah. the faces, and people tell me, you know, they're not invited to a party, but thank you, Miss Poplar, every year you do not forget us. Absolutely. And so that's one of the ways, you know, that I could give back. Um, mm -hmm. I also had the opportunity to help with the faucet replacement in the city, okay. and I sit down basically myself and contacted over 100 constituents to ask them if they wanted uh, this faucet replacement. And some people did not even know. And so I got them a new kitchen faucet and a new bathroom faucet. So some things that's within Jackie Poplar's power, Right. I feel good that I can mm -hmm. do, you know. So these mm -hmm. are some of the, you know, some of the things. Um, I can go on and on with personal yeah. stories. Um, I have constituents that were just like family, mm -hmm. you know, I know more about them probably than what their family knows about them because they talk and tell me, um, you know, I yeah. just, um, I'm a servant. It's a servant. And that is the popular power yes. that you're speaking of. Yes. And you are the council person for the second ward. What do you feel are the most pressing issues uh, the second ward faces? Uh, economic development. Okay. We still have to get rid of so much blight. Okay. But I, I'm thankful that um, the houses that are coming down, the constituents are purchasing those lots. And they're turning in them into beautiful green spaces. Yes. They're making their homes look huge. That's and wonderful. that's what that's all about. Okay. Right. right now, if we can get uh, rid of more of the blight, okay. 
And um, I noticed uh, we ha we're having a little more people move back into the second ward. So that's a good thing. That's a good. That's good. What are some ways that you think that the blight can be handled and taken care of, gotten rid of? Money. Okay. Money. Money. All right. And, and I, I beg mm -hmm. the land bank constantly. I okay. gnaw at them okay. um, about the grass. I gnaw at them. Um, I was the one that alerted um Dwayne at the land bank that a couple of the contractors instead of them putting down clover mm. they were putting down this hideous wheat that would grow overnight mm. and so the contractor was not supposed to put that down they were supposed mm -hmm. to put clover okay. and you know clover is just a ground cover yes. and if each yes. contractor would have done the right thing yeah. put the clover down then we wouldn't have fields and fields of all this grass that has to be cut. Right. But that's just, you know, the fact of life. People are not doing the right thing that they should, they're being paid to yeah. do. Right. Okay. But me, um, my husband always say, do you ever go to sleep? You're always looking out the window. Um, you know, I turn in criminals, whatever. Okay. Just don't do it around me. Okay. Mm -hmm. Because I, I've always stood for what was right. Mm -hmm. And I've never been on the side of wrong. Yeah. So, and if I find myself on the side of wrong, by mistake, mm -hmm. I'm getting out of that lane because that's not my lane. Mm. Well, and you shared with me as well, even before this evening, um, about the uh, the park that you live nearby. Sarvis Park. Sarvis Park. <laughs> yes. I love it. Um that's how I got into politics with Cyrus Park. Okay. I woke up one day, and um, it was some years ago now, uh, 2005. Mm -hmm. uh, I looked at the park, and there was gambling, there was dope smoking, there was prostitution. And I got up one day, and I went over, and I said, this is the end of this. I said, my son and some of the other guys... And this is some of you guys. Y'all grew up here right. using this park. Now the kids can't use the park. I said, so it's a new sheriff in town. It's me. Mm -hmm. Last day. So then I started working with the police, uh, the state police. I started taking pictures. I used binoculars. And mm -hmm. so that's how we basically got the park cleaned up. Now, some of the same guys, I'm not going to mention names, <laughs> that were doing these things have come back, adopted that park. They're bringing their children there, keeping the park clean. Yes. And we have the park ranger patrolling the park. Wonderful. These young guys come back. They have given back. They have painted the park. Yeah. Um, mentored and partnered with Keep Genesee County Beautiful. Mm. Yes. And I tell them, thank you for turning your life around. This is a marvelous story that everybody needs to see and know. Yeah. That if you, everybody's not bad. Right. Even if they are bad, if you can find that little bit of goodness in a young person, That's right. pull that out. Yeah. And you're on the road. Yeah. You're, you're truly on the road. Right. To good things. Mm, that's and that's what has happened over at Salvage Park. And so we're going to get new playground equipment this fall. Mm -hmm. And, you know, things are just happening. Uh, I've given numerous picnics over there. Um, year before last, I had a jazz uh, player come. And uh, everybody brought chairs, sat around. Hi. And this is, this is community. This is that's what I right. do. That's right. So building that sense of community. Yes. As a city council person, and you've been here now 12 years, yes. I believe, I've on the council. I've seen the good, bad, and the ugly. Okay. <laughs> well, it's a little bit of the more maybe of the latter two that I'd like to <laughs> transition to, speaking of the word transition. The Regional Transition Advisory Board. Where do you stand they are on our tab? They need to be gone. Okay. They shouldn't have been left here. Okay. We are not children. We are responsible adults. Yeah. I have not been to one RTAB meeting because I won't give them the power 
to even think that they own me. All right. Yeah. Well, all right. Now this is at the end of our interview. Uh, Ms. Poplar, we would love for you to look here into the camera and tell the voters why you are the best candidate for the second ward. I've uh, stood my ground for my constituents. I've stepped up to the plate for my constituents. I kept a promise that I made in 2005. I promised that I would return all phone calls. If by chance any of my constituents called me and I didn't call you back, it was only because you gave the wrong number you didn't leave your number because some of you have the tendency to talk a long time. And I've even went as far, if you didn't leave your number, to try to get it from the information. And if I didn't get it from information, if you left your address, I sent letters to let you know I got your phone call, but I couldn't turn return it. And I told you the reason why. But I have stood on that promise if by chance I didn't have a chance to do anything for you, then I'm sorry. But I've done the best I can. I've given my all. I still give my all for the second ward because I love the second ward people and I treat everyone as if they're my family member. Some of you know me every year because a lot of my seniors receive a Christmas card or a birthday card from me. And some of these people, I've been doing this since 2005. I try to give back where I can. It's numerous things that I've done that are personal. I don't toot my horn because I don't have to. That's not me. I just want to keep being a servant for you, the second ward, a servant for this community. I want to be the best I can, the best council person, the best of everything that I can do. It's not about Jackie Poplar. It's about all of this city and especially the second ward constituents. So I'm asking for your vote once again. I don't think God is done with me yet. So... Thank each and every one of you for your prayers, for your vote. And even if you don't vote for me, this is a real world. And I don't expect everyone to like Jackie Poplar. But if you get to know me and I've done anything for you, you will say, hey, that's the girl for me. So thank you. Well, thank you very much. And we'll be back on Meet the Candidates. Thank you.